And he has his own voice And you get what you give Sometimes it's just a noise But if you treat him well He will last your life alone If you're honest and open He will write you a song Write you a song Write you a song Stronger than steel and wood Seen me through the bad and good When I'm hanging by a string Every little thing is understood Between Martin and me Travel all across this land, me and you. And we'll end up hand in hand, somewhere down on the sand, just me and you. Your church just a little pulled the right hop. I my cat. <laughs> Y'all ready?
nothing that I don't for oh, everything I need. Nothing that I don't everything I need. Nothing that I don't. I got everything I need. And nothing that I don't. Thanks so much for coming out tonight. It's incredible to be playing for fans all over the world, right from our studio here in Nashville. We've got a great show for you tonight. Let's have some fun. Seem to be my line of work Believe me when I say I can stay this high forever This man's had all he can stand Time to lay this body down Sweet and Can I stay with you a while Cause this road's been putting miles on my heart Sweetheart, I've been living in a fantasy But one day lightning will strike And my bark will lose its bite But don't give up on me 
I know I promised you life With an empty bed and words I said don't carry any weight If I could take back yesterday Find a way to start it over I turn around, put that bottle down And I pray it's not too late Okay, next song.
also younger than the sun And a bonnie bow was one As we sailed into the mystic Hark now hear the sailors cry You smell the sea and you feel the sky Let your soul and spirit fly
whiskey, not living at the fact small by sound as red nose, red face, gonna wreck the whole place. Look into the bag, that's bought it. Chapter is gone. Gone, 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 gone. It's a hard thing to overcome when you find a whiskey is gone. Whiskey's gone, and I ain't leaving. It's gotta be a bottle of old black. Whiskey's gone, and I ain't leaving. Gotta get this down. Throughout the show tonight, you can win a few great prizes by sending Zach Brown Band virtual stickers at the bottom of the screen. For every sticker you give during the stream, you're going to be entered into a raffle to win a signed vinyl of the Owl. And the fans who send the most stickers tonight will win a drum head signed by the whole band. Across the room, we were standing face to face. I couldn't find the words to say. Give me one more move, and I don't even know her name. I guess foolish price to blame, but now I'm falling in love as she's walking. And my heart won't tell my mind to tell my mouth what it should say. May lost this battle, live to fight another day. Now I'm falling in love as she's walking.
we go. Most nights I try to pack. Got you climbing on my back Saying, Daddy, when am I gonna see you again? You know I gotta go out on the road And get on with the show So most nights your mama's gonna tuck you in When you're missing me, look at the stars up there I'll be wishing on the same one to sing this Father's prayer. I hope you see the seven wonders. I hope you sail the seven seas. I hope you let the whole world in your heart, but you still got room for me. I hope you find a guy that treats you right. On your wedding night, I'll raise a toast. Hope he understands. I'll always be the man that loves you the most. Summer's gone, the school is back. It's my turn to help you pack. Keep your room exactly how it is. I know you. Gotta go out on your own I'm so proud of you, you know You're the best thing that this old man ever did When I'm missing you When all the stars come out I sing this prayer When the quiet gets too loud I hope you see the seven one I hope you sail the seven seas I hope you let the whole world in your heart But you still got room for me I hope you find a guy that treats you right On your wedding night I'll raise a toast Hope he understands I'll always be the man who loves you the most Trust your gut, hold your own This old boy saw it on a fiddle and playing it hot And the devil jumped up on a hickory stump Said, boy, let me tell you what I guess you didn't know it, but I'm a fiddle player too And if you care to take it there, well, I'll make a bet for you And you play a pretty good fiddle, boy, but you give the devil his due I bet a fiddle of gold against your soul to think I'm better than you My name's Johnny, and it might be a sin But I'll take your bet and you're gonna regret Cause I'm the best he's ever been
Rattle opened up his case now, and he said, I'll start the show. And fire through his fingertips as he rosined up his bow. He pulled that bow across the strings, it made an evil hiss. A band of demons joined in, and it sounded something like this. Out there, let me show you how it's done. He put bow, bow, run, boys, run. Then we're gonna house to the right, son. Shaking that red band, picking out doors. Ain't it all about no child, no. Bowed his head now because he knew that he'd been beat. Then he laid that gold fiddle down the ground at Johnny's feet. Johnny said, Devil, just come on back if you ever want to try it again. I'd have told you once, you son of a bitch, I'm the best he's ever been. He played Rock and Roll, Rock and Roll. Devil's in the house of the Rock and Roll. Shaking in a red band, picking out dough. Granted it all by no child, no. No. Running out 
cleaned up When good people aren't supposed to be up I found peace with the path I took As I laid down my head Crossroads you gotta choose Which way do we win or lose Every bone in my soul says I sing all I believe that I was born with a song inside of me. I never question why. I just keep on singing these melodies as time goes by. It's funny how time can make you realize we're running out. Was a man who really loved and never compromised. And when I live out my till I live out my days, you can find me in my home, a guitar in my hands, and you can find me in my home with my guitar in my hands. Here we go. It's not okay. No. 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 Man was bothering me today, and I wanted to tell him to go away, but I stood and listened to him anyway. Okay. Said he didn't want to shoot that man, and it was his thing, and I wouldn't understand, and he had done all that he can, okay? Okay. Well, I guess his body was as good as mine, and just like me, he was wasting time turning every stone to see what he could find, okay? He was feeling tanked when he asked for money. I lied and said I didn't have any. And then my conscience took over and gave me my hand full of change. City when beautiful days don't look so pretty and you don't have windows to keep the night away, okay? 
He was dirty and stinking just a bit crude, but he didn't say that because that's kind of rude and he didn't care what I had to say in the first place. Okay. some booze with it and sure that bothers me a little bit but it's his life and I can't tell him how to live it as he turned and started to go his way I tried to think of something wise to say like Take Colorado if he take away Closes the door before the winter lets a cold in It wonders if our love is strong enough to make him stay She's answered by the taillights shining through the window pane he said, I won't see you again. But I'm stuck in colder weather. Maybe tomorrow will be bad. Can I call you then? She said, You're a ram man. You ain't never gonna change. You got a gypsy soul to blame, and you were born for leaving. Had a truck stop diner just outside of Lincoln The night is black as a coffee he was drinking And in the waitress eyes he sees the same old light is shining Things of Colorado and a girl in there behind him he said, I want to see you again But I'm stuck in colder weather Maybe tomorrow will be better Can I call you then? She said, you're a ram man You ain't never gonna change You got a gypsy soul to blame And you were born for leaving It's a winding road when you're in the lost and found. You're a lover, I'm a runner, and we go round and round. And I love you, but I need you. I don't want you, but I need you. You know it's you because we're back here, 
Desperado Oh, you ain't getting no younger Your pain and your hunger They're driving you home And freedom, oh, freedom That's just some people talking Your prison is walking through this world all alone close my eyes I see no matter where I am I can smell your perfume through these western pines I'm with your ghost again it's a shame about the weather I know soon we'll be together and I can't wait till then I can't wait till I wanted to close this performance and take a moment to say thank you. We really miss being out on the road and especially being with all of you. It means the world to us to be given the opportunity to come together virtually with so many fans and play music again. I want to remind you that it's not too late to join for our encore set. We're going to play a few more songs and answer some fan submitted questions. Make sure to stick around after the show and you'll be able to purchase your encore ticket right here on Sessions. Hold walls 
inside now. Now later now that made I a woman. She done told me. She done told me goodbye. Take it now as far as I can. I ain't never coming back. Add me a southbound. Oh, the way to Georgia. You know what I 
my chicken fried Cold beer on a Friday night A pair of jeans that fit just right And the radio And pie and homemade wine with peaches grown. My house, it's not much to talk about, but it's filled with love, it's grown in southern ground, and a little bit of chicken pie. Cold beer on a Friday night, a pair of jeans that fit just right, and the radio. I've come to know So if you agree Have a drink with me Raise your glasses for a toast To a little bit of chicken pie Cold beer on Friday night A pair of jeans that fit just right And the radio on oh, oh, I like to see the sunrise See the love in the woman's eyes Be the touch of a precious time And know a mother's love God for my life and for the stars and stripes may freedom forever fly let it ring salute the ones who die the ones that give their lives so we don't have to sacrifice all the things we love like our chicken pie cold beer on a Friday night pair of jeans and just right, and the radio. Oh, 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 oh. The light to see the sunrise, see the love in my woman's eyes, be the touch of a precious child.
Hi, everyone. Welcome to our special encore performance from our studio in Nashville. We're excited to continue playing for you tonight and looking forward to answering those fan submitted questions. Thank you for being here.
As a thank you for joining us for this special encore performance, we're giving away some more great ZBB prizes. Join in by sending those Zach Brown Band virtual stickers. For every sticker you give now, you're going to be entered into a new raffle exclusively for those of you who joined us. Items being raffled include a signed vinyl of the owl, and fans that send the most stickers during the encore will win a signed Deemer box. Well, a long time ago, one of my bass players was, well, first, okay, let me start back at the beginning. First time I saw Hop, he was hosting an open mic night at CJ's Landing in Buckhead with his shorts on and his combat boot rig and his ponytail. And he got up and played a song with uh, Aaron, his guitar player that was in Brighter Shades. So that's how I first met Hop. And then I ended up doing a record with him. And then... Uh, Francisco Vidal is a guy that used to play around, or he still plays around, uh, Atlanta, and I knew him, and Jimmy had been playing fiddle with Francisco, so somebody told me about Jimmy's this great fiddle player or whatever, so that's how I met him, like, through, and I had to talk Jimmy into, like, coming out and playing with me and, like, not go play with Fran for a little while to do it. It was hard for Jimmy to, you know, like, make the decision to come do it, but he, but he did, finally. And then, who cool, is next? Cool. Yeah. So Coy was playing and little five points at, uh, at a place there. I came in and he was playing slide guitar and, and playing, you know, piano and keys and stuff. And you know, we had talked before. We actually gone to college together and, and um, kind of reunited that way. I met Matt actually before any of that, maybe. I met you way before that. You were living with John Mayer in Atlanta. You moved to Atlanta. But, but you but you met you took me from Fran too. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Fran. Sorry, Fran. <laughs> yeah, but Matt was playing Matt was playing bass for Fran and coming into town and I would tire Matt from time to time and Matt was the first one he was like, You're a really sloppy guitar player. Wow. <laughs> and he was right. He was right, but um so then Clay and Liv you brought Matt to the studio in like when we were doing the record yeah. Uh, after, yeah. So that's when I, I met you was in the early 2000s. Yeah. In the studio for Zach's record. Yeah. So I met you on the first night that I lived in Atlanta. We came down roof. the tin roof, and yeah. you were playing with Francisco. With Fran. With Francisco. <laughs> oh, thanks, yeah. Fran. And All roads lead back to. And Fran. I took your bass. Hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. You, you took my bass for me then, and then again <laughs> in 2013. Yeah. <laughs> Can we audition drummers and? In suites, yeah, it was yeah, pops that, yeah, connected. Tim Usry knew sweets, and then that's how we met sweets when he auditioned. And he was he was gonna hand me a piece of paper, and and every time I reached a piece of paper, he kept pulling it away from me, and I was like, he did that about three times, and I almost was like, this ain't gonna work, <laughs> you know, you uh, know. But anyway, he he killed it on the audition. Was like, what kind of shuffle you want? You want one like this, or like this, and uh. So that's how we met Sweets, and then try to get Clay in the band a lot earlier than he would come in the band. He he was he was not really having it and until we started, you know, taking off. But I was actually a, just a fan of Clay's and his songs, and you know, of him playing. He was playing with Aslan for a while, and with um, you know, on the rock boats and stuff. He was playing with you know, his, with Marshall Tucker and um, yeah. And so that's it. But finally, you know. Clay called and was like, hey, I think I might want to try this. So that's how. But I, I, I don't remember the first time I met you, though. You made me ask him CJ. every, every like, three months at 800 East. Because yeah. we had a studio across the hall that's from each right. other. I'd be like, Zach wants me to ask you to come be in the band again. He's like, man, I really would love to come jam. And he's leading, you yeah. know, a lot of other stuff. So. And then Danny, I met uh, out in uh, oh, Bohemia. Guy. Yeah, and just sat around. I think we stayed up all night, him playing drums and sitting around and talking and watched him sit in with a bunch of people playing music that night. And it took a it took a year of talking to him and then seeing him the next year and then being like, man, you, you should come play with us. You you know? Hey, I have this guy playing with us, and I have this guy. Why don't you stay with Because I was with Chicago. And you go, hey, are you sure you want to go? And I'm like, oh, no, he said, why don't you come on a bus and rummage? Rummage. So I go home and I tell, man, I went, 
He asked me to rummage around the bus. You know, what kind of person does that? Like, like, you don't know, like that. I gave some djembe lessons too. Right? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the first night we just drank whiskey, and but it took a whole year. But then I get like, rummage, man. What, what, what's that, man? He's like, man, check out all my shit. It's yours, you know. And, I mean, it's it's your stuff. Yeah. And that's that. That's how. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's how we all met. But everybody had their own projects and things that they were playing and doing shit, and they just ended up finding each other, and it 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 worked, you know. I have three dogs. That's pretty cool. I got three dogs too. Do we think you have like a lizard or something? <laughs> <laughs> we, we've had lizards. We have three rabbits right now. That's that's uh, what's going on in our house. They just poop wherever they want. I have a 21 year old cat. We were ending the tour with Kenny Chesney, and we. <laughs> We're going to, uh, we had this, uh, the idea that he was pranking a bunch of people. Like, they took the wheels off of Miranda Lambert's golf cart one time and left it on, like, blocks or whatever. And so we had this idea that we would, like, join in on it. You know what I mean? We would join in on the action. Like, we would prank, you know, Kenny and um, Clay and, and, Hop. and Hop uh, got a cooler and poured it on them. That and football song was new too, so it was like it was that, that whole vibe of like coach is going to get the Gatorade cooler. It was the Gatorade bath. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, they threw it on Kenny, and he turned around and was like, you know, this. Yeah, I'm pretty and, sure flame shot out of the bath. <laughs> <laughs> During a show, it was, it was pyro, but still, it was, <laughs> it was, it was, it was right on stage. In the yeah, show. on the encore. Yeah, it was awesome. He was. Uh, at first, not really not happy about it. But then there was like this kind of weird karma that came back to where everybody who threw the bucket like jacked their wrist up or something. Yeah, that didn't was they? great. I did mess my arm up. It's kind of like, I don't think we knew Kenny as well as we thought we did. <laughs> he was pretty cool about it afterwards, though. He chilled out after about 10 he minutes. He everybody. <laughs> I had a lady who was a really uh, big fan of the band. I had just wrote this children's book called Amy Giggles Laugh Out Loud. I wrote the story when I was uh, up in Dahlonega and Zach said, Zach told me he was like, man, you should really uh, do something with that book or the story. And then uh, this girl wrote me, her mom wrote me and said that she, her daughter had a cleft lip and she would never really smile. And she wrote me a letter saying that after her daughter reading the book, that she had, um, you know, like really opened up because of the story and everything. And so I guess that's like probably the best interaction, knowing that like it made a difference in somebody's life, you know. Well, we had a T-shirt cannon for a while, and you didn't know when you were sh – I would shoot the shirts. So you didn't know when you were shooting the shirt if it was going to come out at like 20 miles an hour or 150 miles an hour. I mean, one to the next, it was different. So um, there were a couple times. One time there was this one guy that was just dancing. Like, he was getting down like Chris Farley, like just dancing or whatever. So I shot a T-shirt over their way, and it came out at 150 miles an hour, <laughs> and it hit him right in the face, like right dead in the center of his mouth, like while he's dancing. And I was like, oh, Absolutely. man, there, there's a lot of, like, emotional stories about people, about when people share with us that, you know, that, that our music means a lot to them and help them get through a dark time. One of my buddies, Joe Maynard, told me when he was um, in Afghanistan and in Iraq and flying, you know, special forces around on the helicopter he, and that um, that our song, uh, Natural Disaster, um, <clears throat> he had dropped off some guys and then right after he dropped them, they all came under fire and he had to turn around and go back and, like, rescue them but whatever and he said i was thinking about that song i was thinking about you know turning around and going back with lightning in both hands he ended up going back and um creating enough distraction for to be able to to get his guys out and keep them from dying so he actually gave me his medal that he got for for doing wow. that <clears throat> and it's a picture of two hands holding the lightning bolt so that's pretty cool last but not least yeah, we haven't done that one. Last but not least. 
Yeah. Yeah, we've never done There's it. There's a bunch of them. Really? Here and there that are. Yeah. There's probably 10 we've never played. We haven't done Mary a lot. I mean, maybe we used to a long time ago. We used to do it all the time. Uh, we haven't done overnight. We did it a couple times. Yeah, we did it overnight. Yeah. yeah. We did never, in the UK. We did a trial on Shorty. We never played Young right. and Wild. Uh, That's right. We've never times. done that one. Did we? we? Did. Uh, yeah. You sure? Yeah. yeah. Are you sure? We did. <laughs> I think we practiced it. I think we practiced no, it, we but I don't know for sure. Yeah, we, we played it the first show. And we had content for it. I mean. yeah. to hold her down But it's hard for me to take a stand But I take her any way I can She comes and she goes like no one cares She comes and she goes She's slipping through my head She's always buzzing just like
I know my, my most embarrassing moment on stage was my very first show Ooh. ever with the band. And the very first note of the show, you guys haven't had an overture arranged that, that like included all this like custom music that wasn't like a song, but it was just, you remember that overture? Yeah. But I, no one ever told me about the overture. So I had a whole set list. I'd practiced everything <laughs> in my basement for weeks and stuff. So we go to the first song and there's this, crazy ass overture chord and I look at Clay and I was like I don't know what to do and, and he just starts yelling D C and it's like <laughs> you know all the chords sound the same too when you say in D and C and G <laughs> so that's how I started things off my most embarrassing moment on stage was when we were doing the skeleton suits and we were wearing masks, too, at the end. So we had these suits that the black lights would kick on. And it would, we'd go from, like, being in these suits to, like, looking like skeletons playing. And we'd had a guest artist out on stage with us that played a few songs before that. So there was a huge monitor sitting on the stage, a giant speaker on the stage that was normally not there. So then I got a mask on. I'm wearing a mask. And during Uncaged, during the encore... I just go out and I just start marching like like I just go out like this, and dude, I hit my shin so hard on that monitor and fell on my face, holding my electric guitar all the way over the monitor and hit the hit the ground, smashed on my elbow. I didn't break the guitar, but it like broke a little piece of my shin bone off the front of my knee. I have like a chip spot on it, and I had to get up. I love to hear the sound from that. I'm sure Frank has a sound. Where I hit the ground with that guitar, it was like, Gang! and um, but yeah, that was pretty embarrassing, and it hurt so bad that I was I I couldn't really yell all the things that I wanted to yell in front of all of the fans, but it was dark and uh, smashed my leg. Anyway, that was one of my most embarrassing ones. The fall is always brutal. <clears throat> yeah, falling on stage. I was uh, one night we went out in Gainesville, Florida, and we were all out late drinking tequila. And I come out of the club, and everybody's walking down the street, and I decided to kick everybody in the band. <laughs> <laughs> kind of hard. And um, so we ended up, uh, Zach and I ended up trading punches on our arms about as hard as we could. And uh, his ar he, he punched me hard, really hard in the arm, and it slipped and ended up hitting me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so my tooth goes through my lip, and I have this huge, bloody lip. And, and the next day, we played opening for Alan Jackson, the first show we've ever done in an arena with the huge uh, television monitors above us. And uh, I look up, and I'm just, I got this fat lip. And I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we cleaned a lot of that up over the last few albums, though. I mean, for me, there's not, there's not a lot of unfinished stuff off of the coming out of this new record that we're making now. It's definitely going to be some extra ones left over to figure out what's going to be what's going to be happening. But I definitely plan on writing a lot more often after this experience for this record. Um, I want to be writing for other people too, so that's part of the new plan. The most memorable thing I remember about Colder Weather is when we were all writing and we knew we had something special and we were, it was late one night, we were in Michigan, it just played Michigan and we went over, we had just like figured out what the last words were going to be for it and we went into Kid Rock's house uh, in his studio in the middle of the night, I like woke some of the guys up in the band, I was like, y'all got to wake up, we got the part, we finally finished writing the song, so we go in and we record it that night at his house and um that was kind of the birth of the final part of the song. I just remember that specifically, but you know, it's, it's mainly just about being away from, you know, your loved ones, which we all have to do a lot to do what we do to go out and play and, you know, make music. Um, it's pretty monopolizing cause you're, you're, you're gone all day long every day and you don't get to go home every night. You, you have to wait a while to do it, but we're blessed to do what we love to do, but you do kind of yearn for home a lot. That song's really, I think that's what it's about.
Adele. For me, that would be one. How about how about you guys? I knew you were gonna say that. That's a great choice. I'd probably say Stevie Wonder. <laughs> Pearl Jam. What's gonna happen is Adele is gonna collaborate with Stevie Wonder and <laughs> leave us out of the list. <laughs> <laughs>I would love to do another Grohl Sessions with Dave. Just throw us all in a studio together, too. I miss Dave. I haven't seen Uncle Dave in a long time. Kids. Kids. Gardening. Sourdough bread. <laughs> yeah, taking care of animals, stocking up on food, trying to figure out if it was going to be like zombie apocalypse. Trying to stay sane, spending lots of times with the family, doing, you know, virtual school, um, you know, just, you know, I think it forced everybody to really look at the things that matter. It did for me anyway. I, uh kind of resurrected an old hobby of astronomy so I, I got a, um, a new telescope so I go outside anytime there's a clear night and, and try and look at the stars. I thought you said new telescope like you tell a... <laughs> Did I say telescope? <laughs> no but I mean that doesn't really tell too. <laughs> Yeah, it did for me. I mean, it's the first time in 22 years that we haven't been on the road out playing music. So it's the first time we were able to have a year off, that I was able to have a year off from playing and playing a lot of the same songs, you know, night after night after night. And so I found myself just like wanting to go and pick up my guitar and just play and create something. It was, it was good. I mean, it, it definitely helped me with perspective. It destroyed all my businesses and everything and just like, in a giant bonfire of like everything crazy, but then it also like definitely rekindled a lot of passion for, you know, for, um, for creating. And it definitely helped with creativity for me, for sure, being in lockdown. I got my toes in the water, ass in the sand Not a worry in the world, a cold beer in my hand Life is good today, life is good today well, The plane touched down just about three o'clock And the city is still on my mind Bikinis and palm trees danced in my head I was still in the back as line my guitar and play Old days flew by like a drunk Friday night as the summer drew to an end They can't believe that I just couldn't leave and I bid adieu to my friends She's from the islands Her body's been kissed by the sun 
And coconut replaces the smell of the bar And I don't know if it's her or the wrong Got my toes in the water, ass in the sand Not a worry in a world of cold beer in my hand Life is good today Life is good today my guitar and Thank you again for being here with us tonight and allowing us the opportunity to play for you. We are so grateful to all of our fans, and we can't wait to play for you again in person. And until then, be well, stay safe. See you on the road.